back guys so I just dropped in off at school and I'm heading over to my friend Dina's house to grab some food items that she doesn't want anymore um, again she and I are doing that thing where we don't eat bread this month but she has a couple things that she thought that Ben might like so I think I'll go grab that and then I need to get Charlie some crickets and probably some worms so hopefully I can remember to do that on the way home because I am so tired today I just I could barely get up I don't know I don't know if it's the wave of the heat again or what the deal is but I think I finally got up well I finally got up at seven I'd been breakfast really fast which um, when he was littler I would make him like a egg McMuffin kind of thing um, I would buy called English muffins and then you can freeze them so you know because they come in there like a pack of what I want to say like 12 or 10 or something so I didn't really know how to warm it up because usually what I would do is I would pull it out um, the night before so it would defrost but of course this morning I remembered and I was like crap I didn't I didn't take it out but if you wrap it up in a moist towel and then put it in the microwave for a minute it will actually heat it up and make it soft um, so that worked out really well but then I also bought like a bag full of the round sausage patty things that are already cooked. You just have to kind of heat them up. And so I always heat those up in my cast iron pan and then cooked him an egg and put some cheese in there. And that was his breakfast for today. Um, but I forgot how easy it is to just do that. And, and he was happy with it. So he is that age where he's eating a lot. So I wanted to make sure he had breakfast. And then I filled really quick um, because usually my first exchange is just a simple fill and um, it takes maybe 10 minutes because it's almost like I feel like my peritoneum is thirsty so it just wants to absorb quickly so that's easy to do but I'll have to watch my times today because I'm a little bit off um, usually I fill around 6 or 5.30 and today I did it around 7 -ish. Anyways, yeah, so I don't know, um, I'm just tired. I could go back home right now and just sleep, so I'm going to try to do the dishes and clean up a little bit. Um, yesterday Um, yesterday I made my Tuscan chicken, which I'm very excited about. Um, I have a friend named Craig. He's a drummer in, um, at the jams, and then he's also drummed in some bands around town. Um, anyways, he's a single guy, and so sometimes when I make like a larger meal, I'll take him some portion of it so that he's also able to have like a homemade cook meal. <laughs> I have to take care of all I have to take care of all these little single guys, I tell you. Um, but yeah, so I I took him some of that, and then um, I decided because I wasn't hungry yesterday that I wasn't going to eat any of that dinner. Um, so today I'm just going to cook up the thighs because there was two left over in the package. So I think I will cook those up today, and then. Um, go ahead and have last night's meal today actually because if you ever try that Tuscan chicken from Tasty there's like this delicious sauce that you make with heavy whipping cream um, when you've sauteed onion and garlic and some Roma tomato add some spinach you make like this sauce like a gravy almost and then um, you drizzle that on top of your chicken it's just really delicious but what happens is you end up with a whole bunch of that saucy stuff left over and so instead of throwing it out um, a lot of times I will keep it and freeze it and then use it in some type of um, like chicken soup thing and I think that's what I'll do today is I'll go ahead and cook up the chicken and then I will shred it and put it in there and that that'll be my meal um, 
but I was a little disappointed in the food we had yesterday, me and Glenda, because we did go to Baja and um, I decided to try their egg and chorizo tacos, but it was not good. <laughs> and I don't know if I just got used to Jerry Bob's tacos. Um, they're just breakfast tacos, but there was something about the simplicity, I think, of Jerry Bob's tacos with some really delicious like sauce stuff on top and I I just did not enjoy the ones we got yesterday so I don't know I'm I don't know <laughs> but I ended up eating it I ate half of it there and I usually take the other half home because I don't eat, like to eat real heavily in the morning and so to me also buying you know your meal every week can become costly but I was like well if the if it, the dish is $14 I'll just like you know justify it by saying okay so each meal is $7 so I got two meals basically for 14 but I didn't enjoy it so it wasn't worth it um, I don't know what it was I'm usually a great big fan of Baja um, we just haven't been there in a while but what's really refreshing is that it's a family-owned business and it's locally owned and um, the wait staff was the same that we had eons ago and I think that speaks a lot for a business when you have the same same people um, yeah so I don't know <laughs> Anyways, today I'm going to do a spaghetti squash, which Ben... Which Ben has been known to eat. Um, and I'm trying to figure this out because Ben cuts home and he's really hungry. Um, he doesn't want to take school, like, lunch like me make him a lunch even though that would be the better bet but he doesn't want to do that sometimes he doesn't eat at school sometimes other kids don't want their lunch and he eats it sometimes he will eat the school lunch um, but regardless he'll show up at home and he'll just be so hungry and so um, what's difficult is trying to maneuver dinner because Donnie doesn't get home I don't know, today I pick up Ben at 2.30, which is different from other days, it's 3.30. Um, so I pick him up at 2.30 and he will be really, really hungry. So if he has a little bit of a snack or something, that that's great, but then he's not hungry for dinner and I've now made effort to make dinner. Um, Donna doesn't get home till like, Five, between five and six sometimes six thirty seven and then you know so <laughs> it just ends up being this kind of weird thing because you know it's like I, I, I do want to spend time eating dinner together as if like as a family but it just seems like that doesn't always happen um, I will be right back <laughs> okay so I just picked up the little goodies from my friend Dina's house <laughs> Ben is going to be in heaven. Um, she has a big giant package of um, Hot Pockets and um, some like breakfast burrito things. Yay. Could probably heat one of those up for him instead. Um, and then a couple of things of um, like Asian style food, <laughs> um, like a rice bowl and <gasps> sorry. Um, some teriyaki bowls, things, noodly things that he will totally be thrilled with. Um, so I'm, I'm thinking he's going to be pretty dang excited about that stuff. And so, um, Dana's really cool. Um, she and I met, God, 10 plus years ago. No, 20 years ago, at least, I would say. Um, maybe, actually, let me think. Yeah, I want to say, because Ben is almost 15, and then I was married for seven, so I want to say maybe 20 years at least we've known each other, um, but we're, just recently, this last year, we've been hanging out. Um, but 
So I was at Applebee's and she was just sitting there and she's actually in recovery. And so they had gotten out of their, uh, their group session, their meeting or whatever. And so I started talking to her cause I talked to everybody and she was like, you know, sorry, there's like traffic here. This car is like being really insistent. So, um, she was sitting there and I talked to everybody. <laughs> so I was just like, Hey, you know, and I started talking. We actually exchanged phone numbers and over the year we would text every once in a while, maybe like at holidays. Um, and then when Facebook kind of became this big thing, we became Facebook friends and we would chat a little bit over Facebook and, and then we would follow each other, you know, like on the, on the profiles and stuff like that. And you know, it's weird how you develop these friends that you don't really know, but they're a consistent on Facebook. And so they do become a friend, just social media style. And then this last year, um, we actually met up and I don't remember when the first time was because I feel like I've just always been around her <laughs> but she does definitely come to um, the pro jams and so that's been wonderful because then I have a friend there most every time um, other than Donnie because even though he and I go together and I like and watch him play and I enjoy it and music is beautiful wonderful and all of that um, when he goes on the stage then I'm usually sitting by myself even though I'm, I'm working and I'm doing different things but I definitely um, do sit you normally by myself so it's good to have her because we talk and we're able to catch up and just be chit chatty girl time you know um, and we both have similar goals like being healthy and eating healthier and living healthier and, and uh, getting you know weight under control and those kind of things so that it's always nice to have somebody like that um, I was going to the gym you guys know that I love the gym life I really do and I miss it a lot but I'm just not really in a financial place to pay for it and it's not really beneficial for me because I'm so tired that I don't know that I could even do much at the gym to make it worth my money. <laughs> um, so this new phase of being on dialysis is very different than even a year ago. Um, and I'm not sure why, because now I'm doing really, really well on dialysis, but I, I am very, very tired. Um, so I don't think joining the gym would help me to accomplish anything more than I could accomplish at this time, like just taking a walk. Um, I have not got Mr. Smokey, speaking of walks, not yet. I'm still waiting for his tummy to kind of calm down, but I think I will go get him possibly today when I pick up Ben. We might swing by and just grab him so that he's one less thing for Katie to have to deal with. Um, and she's pretty close to having the baby. Anyways, I want to say she's about three weeks, two and a half weeks, something like that, too. Um, yeah, so it's just been exciting. And baby Gus is doing great. <laughs> he has some of the funniest facial expressions. I just can't even. It's, it's, just, it's, it's just funny. Um, you know, he's at that age. He's two months. Um, so he's that age where like everything is uh, impacting, um, you know, whether it's that he's happy, whether it's that he scared himself because he, um, you know, discovered his hand or something, or he's just looking at his mom in a funny way. I just, I just think it's funny. And uh, Carmi's doing really good. I think that they're managing pretty well. Um, it's just new and it's different when you're a, you were used to a quiet little home and now all of a sudden you have this baby that likes to cry a lot and eat a lot and anyways I will let you go because I'm going to try to run in here really quickly and grab um, some crickets 
for Mr. Charlie. So, talk to you guys soon. Bye.